हेलो बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स एंड माय डियर टीचर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल हैप्पी लर्निंग आई एम शेख महबूब बादशाह दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इंटीग्रेशन सो टू मेक द स्टूडेंट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज इंटीग्रेशन आई वुड लाइक टू गिव दिस एग्जाम लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड इंटीग्रेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एप्लीकेशन suppose there is a pilgrim place and it has many steps a staircase if anybody wants to go on foot has to go through this staircase suppose this has around 3000 steps the price is constant on every step that is 10 rupees and he buys a coke on each step total he will be buying 30000 cokes coke bottles with a cost of 10 rupees each so total amount he will be spending is 30000 rupees it's a simple and by an ordinary multiplication you can calculate a coke bottle on the ground cost rupees 10 and as you go up on every step its price increases by 10 paise that is on the first step its price is 10 rupees and 10 paise on the second step it is 10 rupees and 20 paise on the third step it is 10 rupees and 30 paise next 10 rupees 40 paise 10 rupees and 50 paise and so on in that case the price will be a variable one it is not a constant one so the price is mentioned as a function so price will be on ground it is 10 rupees plus x by 10 where x is the number of the step suppose he is on fifth step so 5 by 10 that is 0.5 that is 10 50 paise so on the fifth step cost or price of the coke bottle will be 10 rupees and 50 paise like that he will be spending from the ground up to the 3000th step so the total amount spent that you are going to calculate is given by integration starting from the 0th step up to the 33000th step lower limit is 0 that is 0 ground and upper limit is last step that is 3000th step and price is given by 10 plus x by 10 dx okay now if you integrate this you will get 10x and x square by 20 by applying the lower and upper limits you will be getting 10 into 3000 plus 3000 whole square by 20 this will be 30000 plus this is 9 3 zeros and again 3 zeros whole divided by 20 you can cancel so 2 4 is a 8 2 5 is a right so this is 4 lakh and 50000 4 lakh 50000 and another 3000 you will be getting 4 lakh and 80 Thousand rupees. This is the total amount spent by the person. So total four lakh and eighty thousand rupees. Okay. So with this example, we got the conclusion that when you have a simple summation, you can go for an ordinary multiplication. Thereby, you can get the answer easily. Whereas in case of a variable function, variable function. to have a summation to get the summation you have to adapt the integration method so this is how integration is useful to get the summation when the function is a variable suppose there is a body and by applying a constant force f it is displaced by a displacement x in that case work done is given by f x f into x a simple one both force and displacement are in the same direction so work done is equal to 
force into x whereas in case of a variable force suppose there is a spring and it is compressed by a force by a displacement x by a final displacement x in that case for a very smaller displacement dx work done will be f dx and the total work done will be starting from 0 up to a total displacement of x and dw that is f dot dx. So when the force is a constant the work done can be calculated as a force into the total displacement whereas in case of a spring like example where the force itself is variable from distance to distance in that case the work done is not a constant force is not a constant so for a smaller displacement dx work done will be dw equal to f dx and for the total displacement 0 to x total work done will be given by 0 to x f dx this is how the integration is useful in case of a variable force similarly for any other example wherever there is a variable force you have to get the summation by means of integration only Thank you. There may be a blunder in this example. Still, still I allow this example. I would like to teach this example to the students to make the students to get a, a clear idea about uh, the real purpose of integration. Please subscribe my channel. Happy learning. Thank you.